Today we are going to uh, we're going to talk about and rape Raven of the Inner Palace episode nine. <laughs> yeah, I know you're all excited because well, it's, we're in the road to, to this anime finale. Okay, and great setup. Can I see one nothing, guys? Keep on watching. Like I said a while ago, it's well, let's preframe the uh, let's preframe this review um already. It's a great setup for the final three episodes. Bakit? Well, we're gonna we're gonna start discussing that. First order of business, of course, the thumbnail. Alam natin lahat na pare queen itong bida ng anime na to, si, si Shujue. Really, would you see either a stunned or a scared look on her face? Though, this scene that triggered our thumbnail is a perfect example. Na sense niya rito kasi kung sino ang makakalaban niya. Yeah. That's basically the uh, that's basically the gist of it. But nonetheless, it um drew out that uh that that scared look on Shujue's eyes. So with that in mind, let's get on to the nitty-gritty of this episode. Face. Like any um like any detective anime and uh, yeah, any supernatural anime na may na, talagang na 60% drama the pacing you would get is um, sometimes slow and excruciating do I have complaints guys? nope matter of fact I was totally disturbed because of the pacing of this episode Flo naman first gear shift here was uh, Ams uh, story but well, this was actually the scene that triggered the uh, probably triggered the episode An tells about Wan Lin's past for me it's a no-brainer guys because this actually triggered the episode and it led to a series of um, backstories that shed more light on the subject okay I'll explain later second gear shift was when Shushue exposes An. Again, no brainer there because well, probably before uh, before Shushue arrived there, na deduce na niya kung ano ano talaga ang nangyari sa sa dating magpay consort. Mukhang itong lady in waiting na to ang nagdala sa kanyang kamatayan. Final gear shift was when was that was that scene when. Ans spirit escapes the lake. Right there, no brainer. Why? Because it triggered the final scene, and this gearship also triggered our post credit scene. So, mukhang nagpakilala na ang uh, tawag nito. Nagpakilala na yung magiging yung magiging kalaban ni Susu dito. So, these three gearships that I saw, guys. <clears throat> De Titi eh. Kasi road to the finale eh. You wouldn't miss a single scene During the final 5 episodes of an anime Kasi ang dami pwede mangyari Leading to The final episode So Watching these 3 gear sets alone will Will probably not uh, Give you an idea Of how uh, On how the episode went. So just watch at least the first two thirds. First two thirds of the episode. You know, you know, you need to Plot wise. Blanchado ang blood, guys. Bakit? Because there was a backstory sequence here. Although it was, um, uh, wow, it's probably no. Raven of the Inner Palace is known for its very um, what you call this? For its visually pleasing backstory sequences. Talagang wow, it's it, I gotta admit, it's really artistic. Pero it's still a backstory sequence, kaya. No, I'm not saying na uh, hindi maganda ang plot. All I'm saying is it was well ironed out. Kumaga. Hindi pa naman ito yung uh, hindi pa naman ito yung pinaka-explainer sequence eh. There was an explainer sequence here 
nung ginisto na ni ni Suzue si An. Do I have complaints? Obviously not. So pace flow and plot. Yo, okay, we got for this episode, folks. Talagang wow. It's probably um probably the most disturbing episode of this anime. So, Raven of the Inner Palace episode 9. Yeah, no brainer. Two thumbs up. Excuse me. Mukhang Suzue is a uh, is in for the fight of her life. It's going to pass up episode 10. Because, well, uh, in the opening sequence, na na dito na mayroon pa na gusto mo patay sa kanya. Okay? Nagpaparamdam na ang mukong na to. And, considering na mayroon din siyang sorcery skills, mapapala ko ng Raven Consort dito. Not even the Emperor can help her. So, wow. No, nope. we'll just have to wait for that episode. Until then, guys, enjoy the next review. So again, Raven of the Inner Palace, episode 9. Two thumbs up!